America is renewing itself, creating new spaces out of old buildings in downtowns across the country, retrofitting and reinventing factories, farms, families, transportation, schools, and in the case of Arizona State University, higher education itself. It may be hard to see the outlines of a renewed America through the often poisonous clouds of our national politics, but we'll show them to you. We won't sugarcoat our problems. We'll confront them head on. But we'll also be looking for the ideas that will allow us to solve those problems and the optimism and patriotism necessary to move us forward. Joining us today is Seth Raman Panchanathan. We're talking to Cecilia Munoz, Jeffrey Tubin, Peter Bergen, Nicole Hannah Jones, David Brooks, Kenneth Shropshire, and Ambassador Dennis Ross. So let's plunge in. Yeah. So let's we're do gonna it. talk about what's wrong with our democracy and how do we fix it all in a half an hour. Half, so. right, yeah, no big deal. No, <laughs> no big, big deal. deal. The good news is it's not hard to formulate the right immigration policy. You can't even be the same leader Tuesday that you are Monday if the situation changes and get the desired outcome. I believe in public schools, um, that public schools are about a common good, not an individual good. If you want to share positivity, um, that's how the world is going to look at you and that's going to be your effect on the world. If you want to share disinformation, then you're part of the problem. How did we miss all the excitement in all of these places? And when you look at a model that is working in South Carolina, and in San Francisco, you know, and in Seattle, and in Charlotte, you know you've got something that clearly is, it's touching on some universal needs that every community in America is feeling. Are there good examples of where cities or communities are doing outreach to I, Muslim I think, communities yeah, or yeah, working a, with schools? And, I, I think and, Minneapolis is, because they, you know, they recognize, look, the, the Somali American community and the Cedar Riverside neighborhood right. of Minneapolis is the closest thing to this kind of like, you know, really disadvantaged American Muslim community right. that you might see in Europe. The sentiment in Erie, in Burlington, in Sioux Falls with the refugees is, we need each other. I hope you've enjoyed the conversation as much as I have. And I hope you come away from our show having learned something new or thinking about an old issue or problem in a new way. We can have productive conversations across differences of many kinds. And we have as many reasons for hope as for despair.